All right, all you Trekkie fans out there, new TV show is confirmed for 2017. I apologize, that was a bus that went by. Uh, this is very good. It's going to be uh, on CBS. So if you get CBS, you're going to be happy. If you don't, well, I apologize. You might want to download a CBS app. And really what this is coming down to, ladies and gentlemen, is that Nobody's been happy since basically Enterprise has ended. I mean, I kind of didn't like the way Enterprise ended. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't. And the writers for this one, ladies and gentlemen, have actually written for, Deep, for Star Trek Deep Space Nine and Star Trek Voyager and is the co-creator and executive producer of the new series. Uh, CBS is trying to run this January of 2017. And there's a couple different places you can find it, but let me just show you something real quick. So, CBS reveals new Star Trek teaser. And basically, it's released the brand new Star Trek series teaser offering new look at the beloved sci-fi franchise return to small screen in 2017. Brian Fuller, who knows a little about Star Trek Universe, having written Star Trek Deep Space Nine and Star Trek Voyager, is a co-creator and producer or executive producer of a new of the new uh, TV series. The show will launch on CBS in January 2017. Uh, the premiere and all subsequent first-run episodes will be on and available exclusively in the United States on CBS All Access. I believe that is a an app of some kind. I don't really know what that is. And their version of HBO Go and Star Trek will be the first original series developed for streaming platforms. So it looks like CBS All Access is actually an app. But I imagine at some point they're going to put this on for TV as well. I don't think streaming has become that popular yet. Um, my family happened to actually get a streaming device. Uh, my sister finally showed me how to use it. And it's not... I can't say it's the best... But it definitely helps if you're trying to find old shows and you don't want to, you know, go on the internet and find, you know, half downloaded shows or, you know, partial reviews halfway in between or weird stuff like that. Um, and regarding the streaming, I've never tried CBS All Access. I don't even have Netflix yet. So that's be how behind my family actually is. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, there aren't many details available for the rumors and Star Trek exists and doesn't really set a idea of where in the Star Trek franchise it starts, if it's an origin, if it's a continuation, or anything else. I mean, there's literally not much being revealed on this. It is the 50th anniversary of Star Trek this year, being 2016. Uh, the show birth a dozen feature films and five television series. So this is going to be amazing one way or another for any number of reasons here, folks. And I cannot wait. I apologize. Hang on. I apologize, I was in uh, Internet Explorer or Internet Enterprise, whatever it's called. And here is the trailer for this, or at least a teaser revealed. This comes from CBS. CBS presents a new adventure.
new crews, new villains, new heroes, new worlds. So, you get the idea there, folks. This is going to be an amazing series, just like all the others. I have yet to see a TV series in Star Trek that really didn't work well. Um, everybody says, well, are you a Trekkie or are you a Star Wars fan? I've always said, well, it always seems like Star Trek is almost always um, a larger universe than anything Star Wars actually puts out. It also seems like the technology is almost always more advanced than Star Wars. So I've always leaned a little bit more towards Star Trek than Star Wars. But hey, uh, those of you who are, I mean, I, I love Star Wars, don't get me wrong. Given the two, I'd probably watch Star Wars, Clone Wars all day long, but Star Trek has a lot more uh, possibilities, I believe, than Star Wars, technically. But I believe they could be interchangeable depending on how you view everything. So, thank you guys.